Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. God, black and white, he playing. Look, you do what I say, I give you everything, you don't, I'm gonna punish you. That's right. Simple, free. First 15, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. You see that? It said outside of the kingdom of heaven is what? Murderers, adulterers. Thieves meaning what? They not get in heaven. They not get into heaven. How is you finna get into heaven and you a thief? Right. Think about it. Little Ray Ray do home invasions. He ain't getting into heaven. Little Pookie shoot up the block. He not getting into heaven. Right. This is what they don't tell us. But they put that little illusion in your mind. No, you gotta do what God says. We must keep the commandments. That's, That's right. right. I ain't get your name, sir. What's your name? Victor and Joshua. How we get to heaven? Because we hear about heaven a lot. Somebody get killed, they be like, oh man, little Ray Ray going to heaven. I know he in heaven having a good time. How you get to heaven though? You don't know? That's why we here. You say what? You hit it on the head. Read this. Matthew 19 and 16. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing should I do that I might have eternal life? So that's the question that we all have. How do I get to heaven? I want to get to heaven. I want to live forever. But how do I get there? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. What did it say? Keep. The commandments. So you get into heaven by keeping the commandments, doing what God said. That's right. You're not getting into heaven if you don't do what God said. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. So I made a statement. You're not getting into heaven if you're not doing what God told you to do. That's right. He is proof. Read. Bless our day that do his commandments. So you, Joshua, you blessed if you do what God say. Don't you want to be blessed? We always talk about victory. You want to be blessed. You got to do what God said. That's, right. That's how you be blessed. Read. That they might in, that they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. You always hear about, I want to get through the gates, the pearly gates. You always hearing about this. You not getting through them gates if you don't do what God said. Right. We get fed a motivational speech, feel good. But when you go in this Bible, God, black and white, he playing. Look, you do what I say, I give you everything, you don't, I'm gonna punish you. That's right. Simple, read. Verse 15, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. You see that? It said outside of the kingdom of heaven is what? Murderers, adulterers. Thieves meaning what? They not get in heaven. They not get into heaven. How is you finna get into heaven and you a thief? Right. Think about it. Little Ray Ray do home invasions. He ain't getting into heaven. Little Pookie shoot up the block. He not getting into heaven. Right. This is what they don't tell us. But they put that little illusion in your mind. No, you gotta do what God says. We must keep the commandments. That's, That's right. right. Give me Proverbs 8.32. On the same topic of being blessed, because we want to be blessed. You blessed if you do what God says. And then the next thought may be, well, I see the entertainers. He got a Bugatti, he got a Maserati. We gonna touch on who bless him. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter eight and verse 32. Now therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, uh -huh. for blessed are they that keep my ways. What did the Bible say? Let's read that again. Because we want to be blessed in Lawndale. How do we get blessed? Read it again. Now therefore, 
hearken unto me, all ye children. We are the children, Joshua. Me, you, all the blacks and Hispanics in this neighborhood. We are the children of God. That's right. When you hear hearken, hearken mean listen. When you read the Bible and you read these verses, don't think it's just the people at that time. No, he's talking to you. Right. So when you hear that's hearken right. unto me, my son, listen unto me, my son, that's you. Right. Listen unto me. You want to be blessed. He's telling you how to be blessed. Read. For blessed are they that keep my ways. Blessed are they that keep my ways. You are blessed when you do what God says. Right. That's right. Revelation 1 and 3. How you blessed? You blessed if you do what God says. The Bible ain't changed. You went from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Right. New Testament to the Old Testament. You only blessed when you do what God says. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Blessed is he that readeth, uh -huh. and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. You see, the Bible keep repeating itself. It ain't say Joshua. It ain't say I'm gonna be blessed if I hand out a hundred plates on Harrison. I just hand out a hundred plates to a hundred homeless people. I'm blessed. Right I help somebody pump their gas and sit though. I'm blessed. I ain't cuss for a week. I'm blessed. Right it ain't say that. Right. Dude. It said you blessed when you do what God says. That's right. So when you examine our people, why are we not getting blessed? Is it because we ain't strong? Is it because we ain't smart? No. We the strongest people on the face of this earth. That's but right. we can't get by because we not doing what God says. Right. That's right. Just like you said you got a son, right? You got certain rules for him that you don't have for other kids. You know, you follow me? I want you to wear these green shoes. You both have them green shoes on. I don't care about nobody else. We God's people. We got to do what God says. That's right. It ain't all oh, God's people. I do what I want. No, you God's people. So it's special requirements right. for you. Just like if you a truck driver, it's certain requirements for a truck a truck driver. Yeah. If I wash dishes, that stuff don't apply to me. But you God's people, you got to do everything in this book. Right. And you could do it. You know why? Because Jesus Christ did. That's like right. a man like you did. Read. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. Uh -huh. For the time is at hand. The time is now, Joshua. That's Don't right. think you got to follow whatever's going on out here. Are you missing out on something? The time is now. Bro. That's right. When you watch the news, like really watch the news, it's going down. Famine is going to hit this earth. That's right. So you got to get it together. The Lord is going to destroy this place that a lot of our people love so much, America. Right. Following Christian doctrine, doctrine made by the white man is not going to save you. Now, I don't want to speed past Matthew 4. Matthew 4 and 8. Got you. You got a flight? Matthew 4 and 8. Who getting blessed? How do these entertainers getting blessed? The devil. The devil. Let's read it out the Bible. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 8. Now, Again, the devil taking him up into an exceeding high mountain uh -huh. and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. Uh -huh. And said unto him, all these things I will give thee, uh -huh. if thou wilt fall down and worship me. What did Satan say to Christ? He told Christ, if you worship me, I'll give you all these things. But Christ denied these entertainers, they worship in Satan. They had to do certain things to get to where they at. I'm sure you heard of this stuff. Brothers bending over, touching their ankles. To get a foreign car, is that, is that serious? It's women that let white men run through them so they could be the best actress. So they could live in the best houses. Right. Bring it out. That wealth that you're trying to seek is not worth it. Right. The wealth that you need to be seeking is the wealth of God. That's right. Proverbs 16 and 16. What's the real riches? What's the real riches we're supposed to be seeking? It ain't money. It's this knowledge of God, this wisdom of God. Read the book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 16. Uh -huh. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? What is it say? How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? 
You got to think about what they just said. It's better to get wisdom, God's wisdom, than gold. That's right. These young brothers doing all this hijacking, taking, what is, what is it, Cadillac converters, risking their life to get a piece of paper, right. to get some money that you probably ain't going to be able to get because you're going to die in the midst of you trying to steal. It's not worth it. That stuff ain't worth it. We supposed to be seeking God's wisdom. That's right. Remember what it said. Blessed is he that's reading. Blessed is he that reading. You bless when you read. Why? Because you learn who you are. That's right. You learn what? Today you an Israelite. Right. You got to keep the commandments. You just learn how to get into heaven. It's a church right here and it's a church right there. I bet you they ain't learning. Two already. Oh, it's two. I'm sorry. It's two. One, two, three. They don't know how to get into heaven. You just learned that right now. That's right. We sit in these places for hours and don't learn what we supposed to learn. Right. Second Maccabees 732, because I know you say you gotta go. I want you to hit it. Why do we suck? Second Maccabees 732. Read. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse 32. For we suffer because of our sins. I could drop the mic and walk off. That's why we not suffering because we ain't smart. We, we not educated. We ain't strong. We don't know how to do nothing. We not quick learners. We are all those things. Because you could put us in the worst environment. This little boy will skip six grades. A little boy will skip six grades and be doing college work. Somebody will make a whole water machine and they live in Inglewood all their life. So it's not that. We suffering because of sin. We don't do what God says. That's right. That's it. So if sinning gets me to suffer, and I don't want to suffer, that means I got to stop sinning. That's, That's right. right. You still here, so I'm going to keep showing you more, because the more you learn, the more you can share with the next brother. Believe it or not, we don't come from no silver spoon up here. We heard the word just like you. Man, I love God, so I'm finna change. Right. right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Right Keep my commandments and live. What that say? Keep my commandments and live. You want to feel alive? You want to really be rejuvenated? When you keep God's laws, it's going to bring life in you, bro. Right. That's why we do all this stuff we do. We get high. We get drunk. It's some brothers that just sleep around with all the women because they can't figure out what's wrong with them. They feel like something missing in their mind, so they just out here doing whatever. You missing God's laws. That's that missing hole inside you. Right. Keep God's commandments. And keeping God's commandments, you get your culture back. That's right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. We follow all these ways of these other people. We lack a culture, we lack a self-identity. The Bible is your identity. The Bible is your history book. That's right. We ain't supposed to be following none of this stuff but God. And guess what? You can do it. You know why? Look around at all these men in purple. We weren't doing this before. Bring it out. Right. If you sat down and talked to some of us and heard our upbringing and what we've been through, you would be like, damn. The difference is, when we got that call from God, we moved. That's right. right. You ever heard about when Jesus saw Peter and Andrew? He said, hey, we gone. They dropped their nets and they left. The Lord calling you. You hearing that call, you gonna move. And Lord will, we'll see you on this side. Waking up the brothers in line here. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt dis discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. He said, thou. Thou mean you. He said, you're going to discontinue from your heritage. Discontinue means to stop. Meaning you had a heritage, but then it's gone. We think our heritage in line there, we in line there. We think our heritage is to be a vice lord. We think our heritage is to be a breed, a GD. No, that's not your heritage. That's not what you was born to do. You was born to be a prophet of God, a king, a priest. That's beneath you. That's right. Game bang and drug that we think that's all we supposed to be subject to. Right. And all we do is destroy ourselves. Read. And I will cause thee 
to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. God said, you're going to lose your heritage, and I'm going to cause you to serve your enemies in a land you don't know. We got brought over here forcibly. Read. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. God said, I allowed that to happen to y'all because y'all made me mad. You ever read the Bible? We ruled the earth, Joshua. We ruled the earth. You know, Europe, they think that's white man land. We used to run Europe. We used to rule Europe. That's right. We ruled Europe for a thousand years. That's right. But you know why all that got cut short? Because we weren't following what God said. So he said, I'm taking all the things away from you because y'all made me mad. I gave y'all the land. I gave y'all food. When you read the Bible, we ain't lack nothing. You know how I say, uh, when people say when they was growing up, uh, my pops took care of me, I ain't want for nothing. I had whatever I wanted. Guess what, us as a race of people, Joshua, us as a race of people, we ain't want for nothing. That's right. The same people we gotta work for now, when you read the Bible, they used to have to pay us taxes. Right. But now guess what? Majority of these two flats up and down here, Lawndale, I bet you it's a Chinese man on. I bet you it's a white man on. That's Russian right. man own. We don't own nothing. We servants him. That's Why? Right. Because we disobey God. Read. Right. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Uh -huh. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, uh -huh. which shall burn forever. Uh-huh. That's it. From that, get yeah, Acts 319. I'm going to leave you with this, bro. So you got to repent. Repent means to change, bro. We got to change our minds. Once this change, bro, you can do whatever you want. Brothers be coming up with all these, these different, I don't want to say schemes, but good ideas. Economics, black big, this, that. But if you still got on your mind to plot and steal and be deceitful and conniving, that stuff going to fail. You gotta change this. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Yeah. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. You want God to forgive you of your sins, right, Joshua? So you gotta repent, do what he said. Seriously, do what he said. Confess them sins, whatever they is to God, and change. Right. Why? Read on. When the times are refreshing, shall come from the presence of the Lord. That time of refreshing, you know how you got a computer and you hit refreshing, everything get deleted. All the stuff that's not of God don't get deleted on this earth. And if you don't want to be caught up in that, you got to repent and change. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word.